Hello, I'm Carol Boardman and it's time for Perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. And it's even more perfect because, hello, Friday! Hey! As always, I've got puzzles and brain teasers that will educate, entertain and irritate you. I have 10 fiendish questions for you today and every weekday, Monday to Friday. So make sure you subscribe, follow and like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. Okay, at the end of yesterday's podcast, I left you with an anagram of a film star's name. So who is Sly Groaning? That was the anagram. And actually, the answer is, it's the rather gorgeous Ryan Gosling. So I don't want to think about Sly Groaning any more than I have to. But while that was just for fun and not for points, it's time now to play for points. Can you end the week with a perfect 10 score? Here come the questions. Question one is your starter for a perfect 10. So let's start as you mean to go on today and take the first step to getting all 10 questions right. You can do this. Here we go. Which seven letter word can you remove two letters from to get eight? E-I-G-H-T. But one letter from to get 80. E-I-G-H-T-Y. So let's just unpack that a little. The word you're after definitely has both eight and 80 in it. So which word could that possibly be? You don't have to watch the clock because in this game, you can pause and rewind to your heart and mind's content. I'll give you all 10 answers after the final question. So you can go into the weekend, hopefully with a near perfect 10 score. Well, It's time for question two and our hearsay round and an audio challenge. You're about to hear some sounds which relate to a well-known phrase or saying. The question is, which phrase is hidden in these sounds? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the problem there. I can't get a plunger on that. You see, your pipes are blocked. Your pipes are blocked with rhesus negative. You see, that's the problem. It's rhesus negative all the way through the pipe. So which well-known phrase or saying was that? I've seen the problem there. I can't get a plunger on that. You see, your pipes are blocked. Your pipes are blocked with rhesus negative. You see, that's the problem. As always, answers at the end. Question three, and we call this round Carol Lateral Thinking. Numbers are everywhere, but will you get somewhere with this question? And as I say, this involves thinking laterally. What is 40 divided by a half plus 15? Careful with that one. If you're not concentrating, it can bite. Question four, and it's our final memory game of the week, so time to get retaining and fast. Listen up, stay focused. Here we go. Right, so for this recipe, you're going to need 225 grams of softened butter, 225 grams again of caster sugar, four large eggs, half a lemon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, as much self-raising flour as the caster sugar, a splash of milk, and then some icing sugar for dusting. Now, this recipe normally serves between eight and 10, but if you're anything like me, three kids and two adults will happily polish this off all over a weekend. So heat your oven to 180 degrees, 160 if you're using a fan oven, and let's get mixing. Nice recipe for a sponge cake there, but what I want to know is this. How many grams of self-raising flour does this recipe call for? Moving on to questions five, six, and seven. They're all linked by being frivolous, familiar, and fun. The question's about everyday subjects, so if you've been keeping your eyes open, there's a possible three more points right on their way to you. How many sides are there on a British Road stop sign? Question six, is this food for thought? Which French tyre manufacturer also created a global food guide? And question seven, what number is to the right of the number 20 on a dartboard? If you're a bit of a hero on the hockey, you should get a bullseye on that one. Question eight, as ever, is one in, one out, where you swap out letters to find a new word. So what letter can you change in irony, I-R-O-N-Y, to make someone who's usually a villain's henchman? If you have any clever questions, riddles, or puzzles you want to test me with, please send them along to Perfect 10. And if 
I am suitably amused and flummoxed, they could end up amusing and flummoxing the UK too. Question nine is called, I know, I know this. Because with a bit of thought, elimination and logic, you grab yourself another point. Here we go. Slowpoke Rodriguez is the cousin of which swift cartoon mouse? All you need for a point is right there in that name, Slowpoke Rodriguez. And that's this week done, apart from question 10 and your daily riddle. Here we go. What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a hundred years? And here's a clue. Don't take your time. The answers are coming up. So if you need to rewind or pause, please do. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's questions. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, send me your own puzzles too, at Carol Borders on Instagram and TikTok. And follow at Perfect 10 Carol across socials and on YouTube. 10 questions, but did you get a Perfect 10 score? Let's find out. Question one. What seven letter word can you remove two letters from to get eight, but one letter from to get 80? And the seven letter word I was after is weighty. W-E-I-G-H-T-Y. Take the W and Y from it and you get eight. But just remove the letter W and you have 80. Question two. Yeah, I've seen the problem there. I can't get a plunger on that, you see. And the saying is, blood is thicker than water. And did you know it's true? Both blood and ketchup are known scientifically as non-Newtonian fluids. Question three. What is 40 divided by one half plus 15? The answer is 95. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by two. So 40 times two is 80 plus 15 is 95. Question four. Based on the clip I played, I asked you to recall how many grams of self-raising flour does this recipe call for? And the answer I was looking for was 225 grams, the same as butter and caster sugar in the recipe. And so we go into the frivolous, familiar and fun and question five. How many sides on a British road stop sign? And the answer is eight. I think lots of people would have thought it was a circle, but actually it's an octagon. Question six, which French tire manufacturer also created a global food guide? And it's Michelin and the Michelin Guide, of course. It was created in the year 1900 to get more people driving on the roads of France and therefore they could sell more tires. Question seven is for the pub sports lovers amongst you. Which number is to the right of the number 20 on a dartboard? And the answer is the number one. Originally, dartboards were made from a slice of a tree trunk, which explains the concentric rings. Their original name was a butt, which is French for target or goal. Question eight was, what letter can you change in irony to make someone who is usually a villain's henchman? So you change the letter I to a C and you have this sniveling little crony, C-R-O-N-Y. My question nine was, Slowpoke Rodriguez is the cousin of which swift cartoon mouse? And if you knew your cartoons, you'd know. Slowpoke Rodriguez is the tardy cousin of Speedy Gonzalez. And the Speedy we know and love first appeared in 1955 and was such a hit, he actually won an Academy Award, an Oscar, for Best Short Subject in the Cartoon Category. Andale, andale. And question 10, our daily riddle. What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a hundred years? Well, it's nothing to do with timing, but all to do with spelling. As the answer is the letter M, which appears once in the word minute, twice in the word moment, but never in a hundred years. So, did you score a perfect 10 today? Remember, make sure to subscribe to the podcast and follow us on YouTube and across our social media channels so you don't miss out on any of our rounds. We'll be back on Sunday with a compilation of the entire week's shows. That's five podcasts all put together in one compilation, one long episode. But for now, I'm Carol Vorderman, and that was my perfect 10. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. And I want to wish you a perfect weekend. Bye.